Zoom account. Okay. I had a couple people ask questions and I figured we'll answer them before we start shooting. The only reason for that is uh, everybody swears up down. Every review I've ever done on these things will not fire. We'll find out. Okay. The Mac. These ship without a Mac. A standard Ruger 1022 Mac, a little flat one. I've got several laying around the shop. I can get them in, but it will not come out. You have to fumble with this thing like crazy to get it to come out. So today we're shooting the Butler Creek, which I guarantee you I can get hold of and get out. All right, it has nothing to do with the back end. Uh, we'll probably cover this a little bit more at the shop depending on how the shooting goes. But I, I don't understand. It, it fits in fine, but it will not come out, all right? Other thing that uh, everybody's talked about is you end up blowing your hand off, almost, okay? Here's the end of the barrel. Here's the charging handle, okay? Charging handle, you grab a hold of it, you crack it back, okay? If you get a light strike, grab a hold of this one, shove it back. Either one of these will charge it, okay? And yeah, I can tell you, working with this at the shop, in order to get it out, this is the only way I can get the mag out. This is not a comfortable situation. It does have a really nice uh, firing safety. Okay. One other question that was asked uh, by a fellow shooter was, how do you grip this thing? Actually, quite easily. Okay. Bear with me, it's empty. I am gonna break the rule and stick my finger in it. Okay. Real simple, right here. Okay. Your hand comes up on the other side, you have these nice grooves right here, okay? Your thumb literally rides right in it, you're actually able to index it correctly, okay? You have the same type of setup over here, I imagine a lefty could do it. I'm not a lefty, so this is a little uncomfortable. Actually, this isn't bad, okay? You're able to get a good grip on it, left side. Uh, bear with me, don't tell people Major Walter and Zoe's pointing a gun down or up range. Next thing you know, I'll be in more trouble. All right. So, with a mag in it, I said I could get it to stick. There you go. Just got a shot. With a mag in it, you're actually able to index, grasp onto the grip here, and the grip here. And you're actually able to get the gun in a decent firing position. The sights, they're nothing special. They do line up. Got a loaded indicator here. The cute little instruction manual says one of the projects at home is to slide that off and color it. Uh, I suppose you get the zombie color of the damn thing. I don't really know. Anyway, all right. So now we're going to try to shoot it. So now we're going to charge it. Soft shoot. Real soft. <laughs>
So far, boys and girls, every single shot. This damn thing's jammed. So a minute ago, every single round jammed. It was a federal bulk box, crap, Walmart, stuff like that in the bench. This is CCI standard velocity. I have 10. 20 is expensive. Standard velocity. And after I think the first one and the second one ended up with what was considered a catastrophic failure. Catastrophic. These brass wedged between the operating rod and the ball, the barrel, I ended up having to dig it out with a screwdriver and a hammer. But being blunt for punishment, and since I have yet in my entire life to see a gun that could not have some quality. I'm going to continue on. Zip 22. Not your father's zip gun. This truly is a POS. Alright? If you can see that, I think this is what you can expect regularly. Now, you know what? I'm still trying to find something positive to say about this gun, and I can't. Um, it was bad enough I'm not even putting it on gun broker. I don't care what it's worth. Alright, so, I think this pretty much kills the rest of my day.